Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to put together an art portfolio. You know, give some tips, uh, show usually how I go about creating mine and uh, what needs to be in your portfolio, what doesn't need to be in your portfolio and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you putting together your online portfolio. So in this video I'm going to be using Weebly.com. I really like uh, Weebly because it's really easy to use. So I use Weebly for my own online portfolio and I've been using it for a while now. Uh, disclaimer this is not a this is not an affiliate or sponsored video by all means you can go ahead and use any other website builder so anyway let's go ahead and uh, let me just uh, create an account and do this and this is probably what you're going to get when you first uh, create an account with Wibbly so in this case you just you just need a website you're we're not creating an online store here and Wibbly gives you a few options of some really for the most part these are really simple uh, website templates that you can use uh, in this case I'm going to use the um, this one for from portfolio and I'm going to use this template um, I took a look at some of the other ones they're not that great in my opinion I think for a for an online portfolio I think this one's it's pretty good it's really simple you want to keep your online portfolio simple so let's go ahead and start editing this and here you can create a domain name for your website so you can either buy a domain uh, connect an existing one or just use a free domain from Weebly so for an online portfolio should you have your own domain or just use a free domain so for my personal experience i've been using a free weebly domain for my own online uh, portfolio and honestly i haven't seen it uh, cause any issues like most people don't really care if you're using the free domain name or not uh, what matters is what's in your portfolio so in my opinion you don't really need to buy a domain if you don't want to so let me type this let's see if this exists so i can buy this uh, domain or i can just use the free one so i'm going to use the free one like i said you don't really need to buy a domain even for an online portfolio uh, most recruiters and just people who are going to look at your portfolio they're not really going to care i click done okay so here we are pretty much in the area where we can just start to create our portfolio uh, i don't really like the layout for this uh, this is not really conducive to it to an online portfolio so i'm just going to start to delete some of these things uh, by pressing the x on some of these okay so i deleted everything that was on this page uh, except for the uh, header here which i don't think i can just get rid of uh, through the building of the website here so i think to get rid of that i have to go to pages then for home click on that and then i think under header i can just set this to not have any header at all so that's going to get rid of that uh, let's see one thing I'm going to do is obviously you always want to have a title here at the top and this should be your name so in this case I'm just going to take 3dx and then you want to have the, your title so if you are for example a uh, character artist you can just type character artist or you can type 3d character artist if you're an environment artist you can type environment artist or prop artist if that's what you do uh, so choose one of those or animator or whatever okay so let's see obviously this does not look very good uh, like the text is like um it's not visually pleasing i want this to be in one line so let's see here i think if i go to theme and i change my thing options or fonts so under site title i can choose uh, the size of the the text here so i can have it really big one thing i also want to do is i want to change let's see here i'm going to change my theme this theme has an option to go to dark mode uh, which i think is pretty cool i think for portfolios i think the dark background usually looks better so i'm going to keep that obviously another thing you can do is change the font itself uh, this is using whatever quicksand font obviously you can just try you can try out these uh, and get something that looks kind of cool i guess all right so that's that and uh so we're ready to pretty much start putting together the portfolio so like i said it's good to have your title at the top and that's it you just need your name and your title you don't need to add like your phone number address or anything like that that's just not necessary for this uh, chances are whoever comes to your portfolio already has that information because they will have seen uh your portfolio link through your resume or something like that or linkedin profile and that's how they got to this point essentially 
So it goes without saying that for your portfolio, you want to have your best work at the top and then, you know, go from there. So let's add an image. Okay, so here's the image and let me just load something in. Okay, so I loaded the first image. Um, it's down here. Uh, this is not this is not like an example of best work ever. Uh, this is just to give you an idea. You know, this should be your best image. So in this case, let's say this is for an environment art uh, position. So let's change this. If you're a character artist, you will put a nice character, your best character that you've ever made here. And then something I like to do is I like to add a gallery under that. So you're going to show your best image. And then underneath that, you're going to show a few different uh, angles from that same work. So underneath that, I like to just put a few different angles. Uh, this can be like wireframes. It can be only versions of it. And honestly, you can add as many pictures as you want. I would personally keep it as one uh, line. And you can change, um, if you click on this, you can change how many columns you have, uh, the spacing, all of that. Super simple to just go through that. So that's what I personally recommend is just show a picture of your best work first. So in this case, it's an environment. And then I have a few different points of view of that same environment. Like I said, that's, this could be a wireframe. This could be an unlit version or something. Maybe the concept art that you based it off. Uh, I noticed that there's a huge space here. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Oh, I think there's a background here, so I'm just going to delete it. Okay, yeah, that fixes it. And then I have to re-upload my gallery here at the bottom. Okay, so that's that. So that's your, your best work at the top. And then one more thing that I like to do is I like to add like a small description to it. So let's add some text. This can be at the top or at the bottom of the image. So you just want to explain um, just want to explain a little bit about what this is and how you came about making it, uh, possibly your process, or just like what you were thinking about uh, when creating it. Want to keep that super super short? Uh, I recommend maybe like a paragraph or two. Uh, you don't have to explain too much. Uh, the reason you don't want to go too much into detail is because if you get to an interview, you know you just have more to talk about uh, in the interview, so you don't give everything away just hear it uh, through the description. So here the description, you want to keep it super short. Maybe this could just be uh, the software that you used and that's it. Or maybe how long it took you to make it. Um, but I recommend you keep this super short, but just have a few words there. And then I like to add like a spacing, like a divider here at the bottom, and then add the next best work. So this is going to be your second best work. And then I also like to add the I mean the gallery at the bottom of that. So here's the, your best work and also add a description. Uh, it's probably too close together. So I will probably divide it just a little bit more. You want to make sure this is visually pleasing as well. And it's not just too crowded. And then you want to add some text to this as well. Again, super short description. And personally, I would add one more at the bottom of your best, I guess your third best piece uh, with different views as well. Uh, if you don't have uh, like a two different environments, what you can do is just add some props or, you know, different things uh, to go along with the, with the main image. Obviously, you can, uh, here in Weebly at least, you can just publish it, start to look at the actual website. So the main thing with the main page of your website is you want to make sure that it's really easy to navigate. You want to make sure all your best work is easily available here in the main website so that you don't want to make it so that uh, you're going to hop into a lot of different pages and you have to click the back button and stuff like that. So this is why I prefer to have almost everything on one page uh, because it just allows whoever comes to your website to see everything all at once without having to go through uh, so many pages. Uh, that's one of the main reasons I don't like the, the art station websites, the art portfolios, uh, because it just creates so many clicks that you have to go through to get to all the different work. Uh, it's not super easy to just see everything at, at a glance. It just takes too many clicks, I think. So the homepage, I will actually rename to maybe like portfolio or professional work or something like that. And let's see here. There's a gallery and a contact page. I will probably keep the number of pages to a minimum, uh, probably three at most, maybe two. 
So let's say this is your portfolio. So maybe you're showing your environment on this one. And then maybe the next step is props. And uh, let's see, you want to make sure the pages uh, look similar. In this case, this looks a lot more different than the other page. So I'm probably just going to delete it and duplicate the other one. So maybe this is our props page. And this is where I have all my props. I think for the props, you probably wouldn't really need to add descriptions. You can just add a few images of your props and let that be your prop section. Let's go back to the portfolio one. And then, so that's pretty much it for the portfolio. I, like I said, you want to present stuff really easily and so that everything is in one page for the most part. If you have a lot of work, uh, you can still go through. I think you can scroll down. Scrolling down is better than going through a bunch of pages. Uh, just because it just makes it a lot easier, in my opinion, at least. You have to remember the first person who's going to see your portfolio is more than likely going to be a recruiter. So you want to make sure that you're not wasting people's time. And uh, so you want to make sure everything's right, uh, right in front of them so that they can see it really quickly. So another thing I usually see in portfolio websites is the resume section or like a contact page. Personally, I don't think this is necessary. Uh, like I said, most people who are going to come to your portfolio are more than likely here because of your resume to begin with, or maybe your LinkedIn page. So there's not really a reason to include your resume here because more than likely whoever is on your website has already seen that. So they don't need to see that again. Same with the contact page. Uh, you don't need to add that in my opinion because whoever is here again, probably here because they came through a resume or your LinkedIn page. So they already know how to contact you anyways. I don't think you need to add a contact page. Another thing you don't need is obviously you don't need to add like any social media links. Um, don't want to give other personal stuff that isn't related to the to the portfolio or, or the work. So you don't want to include you know, like Facebook or Twitter or, or even art station. I don't think it's necessary. If people want to see your art station, they can always look it up themselves, but you don't need to add it here. Uh, your best work should be here. I think art station is good for just showing more works in progress type, uh, type of work. So if people want to see that, they can always just look you up on art station, but I don't think you need a link uh, to that. So to recap, you have to make sure for your portfolio, want to make sure you have clean uh, descriptions of things, short descriptions, your best work first, and then uh, in order of best uh, to, I guess, worst, but it should all it should all be good. You should have a main image and then a few different angles, wireframes, concept art, and then proceed that way down the list. And I personally think it's better to have everything in one page uh, because it makes it a lot easier for anyone to come in and just see everything at once. Uh, without having to be going through a bunch of pages just to find stuff at most i would recommend having maybe three tabs at most two preferably but don't clock a uh, number of tabs here at the top don't create too many too many pages you don't need a contact page or links to other social media profiles uh, chances are whoever comes to your website already has that information and they have already seeing your resume so you don't need to include that in your portfolio uh, but that's pretty much it for this video if you guys want me to go more perhaps more in detail uh, if there's anything that maybe i missed uh, let me know uh, but otherwise like i said just keep it simple have your best work and uh, that should be good that should be good enough for a portfolio so again if you like the video make sure you hit the like button if you're new subscribe to the channel and as always i will see you in the next video